we should be coming in live and knocking out Chelsea from her live stream hosting on our channel. Let's check it out. Should be coming in. Let's do a little refresh. There we go. And we're live. Nice. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is September 13th, 2020, Sunday, 8 p.m. PDT, Pacific Time, West Coast, Canada, United States. And we're doing a live stream, open discussion on investing and personal finance. And we've done a few of these over the years, over the last two, three years. Young Paul likes, are we doing? Joe, gonna make some popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> right on i don't think today's uh, popcorn uh, live stream is going to be as uh, intense as uh, last night and for those of you that might be watching this video uh, after the live stream on youtube yesterday we did a live stream on current events news politics and whatnot and uh, unfortunately due to youtube's uh, censorship algorithms and whatnot that video is only available on bitshoot so if you do want to follow the discussion we're going to be having if you're watching this on youtube if you're on bitshoot you already saw the video pop up most likely okay uh, i might load it up after this um, the economics one but most likely the politics will go first on bitshoot um, you already know that we're doing bit short exclusives uh, specifically regarding news politics and whatnot okay so if you're on youtube if you want to follow that discussion you have to be on uh, bit shoot apologies about that it's part of our decentralization uh, to make sure we're um, able to speak freely okay and not put our all our eggs in the in a partnership that the partner might be uh, not interested uh, or doing some shenanigans smoothie drinker how are you doing hello hello hey hey one two four six four four five six eight hey where's three and seven what's going on you threw me off welcome welcome little sticks tv how are you doing welcome welcome hope you guys are doing well investing guns uh, a lot of people have been for sure a lot of people have been uh, because investment is just not about how what percent you're going to get every year or dividends you're going to get it's not about fiat currency growth investing also means investing in your health investing in your security investing in your community investing in your family investing in your peace of mind investing in your well-being right so for sure and there are certain guns uh like collectibles that are worth investing and i'm pretty sure i'm not a gun collector so i don't know what the price increases have been but i'm pretty sure that uh there are certain guns that have increased in price dramatically invest in land and gold uh, mark metals how are you doing investing in land is an extremely long term or a long term projection um, that has worked in the past okay but as far as i see it certain and, and it really as far as investing in land the the mantra is location 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 period location 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 uh, so it really depends on the location if you bought a house in detroit uh what is it 40 years ago you would have gone bankrupt right and gold mm, is a hedge uh it's it's not a bad idea to have a portfolio in gold lonely piggy chicho good evening to you we have gone over snacks and drinks no we haven't gone over snacks and drinks i'm uh, here let me show you today i got uh, i'm doing i'm really enjoying the dry toast so i'm drying you know toasting uh, just bread that i get and it comes out like crackers it's crunchy and this is a blackberry jam the bottom of the blackberry jam that uh, you know was left over that i'm not uh, jarring 
so i jarred a whole bunch i posted some pictures right we went and harvested some blackberry jam and this is the bottom of it and it's really thick <laughs> it tastes amazing like it's one of the best blackberry jams i've made right like super good and it it's really good as just spoons but i don't eat too much of this it just tastes a little bit i just felt like having a little bit of that blackberry tanginess right and you know you can pop a piece of bread toast or just dip your bread in your jam right and eat it up it's really good fantastic I was actually going to go harvest more blackberries or forage for more blackberries today but it's just too smoky like we're in victoria uh, west coast of canada and the fires in the united states the smoke that's coming up is insane here i've never seen it like this for 40 years i've never seen it like this 42 years i've been here I've never seen it like this and i got pineapple liqueur very delicious Salute everyone. And I have tea and water as well. Sort of lukewarm tea because I don't want to drink anything cold and then hit it up with hot, right? Lukewarm tea and a glass of water. I like my tea. I like my tea. Cheryl, how are you doing? I hope you guys have good snacks as well. Oh, a fair bit of people popping in. I haven't done my intro yet. Uh, it's all, almost never a bad investment. Almost. Depends. If you bought a house in certain parts of um, uh, North America in the 1980s, it would have taken you 20 years to pull your money out, right? It would have been in the early 2000s. You could have invested in better things, right? So real estate is not bad, but it really depends on location, depends on your uh time frame it depends on a lot of things it depends if there's better opportunities out there right it really depends are you in a bubble uh, should you be liquidating uh, you do need a permanent residence to live in right gang i'm gonna do my intro i'm sorry if i'm gonna be missing some of the chat if there's anything directed towards me please let me know gang and i'm gonna do the speedy gonzalez style looks like there's a uh, notifications went out i'm sort of slow-mo and, and there's a uh, fair bit of good comments coming up gang i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work support this work patreon is a fantastic way to do so i don't put anything behind paywalls everything is creative comments share and share alike okay we are live streaming this on twitch twitch.tv TV forward slash chicho live c h y c h o l i v e if you want to participate in the discussion in the chat as it's happening live twitch is where you want to be at and gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs on twitch and the people supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for your support okay i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on lovk minds gap parlor um, ba -ba -ba -da 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 um hello minds vk gab parlor and twitter for now okay and we do share additional content there uh sort of bar broadcasting platform for what i do i will be uploading the audio of this discussion to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o as a podcast and it should be available as you on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify for those that want to just listen to these discussions okay and we will be uploading this video to bitchute and youtube okay so anything uh politics that comes up we'll just mention that we did a politics stream yesterday and we'll try to keep the politics stuff on politics streams because we are no longer loading politics videos specifically current events discussions live streams on youtube because we have no desire to be deplatformed. but youtube just recently announced uh from one of the people that i follow um i haven't uh looked into this any further i just came across it today where supposedly youtube is tracking people's activity off of youtube so it looks like they might be deplatforming people 
based on what they do off of YouTube, which is like a draconian on so many of the levels. It's it, it's is beyond even a discussion. Like you can't even begin to uh, grasp what authoritarian power believes that they have the right to dictate what you do, what you say, how you are, and who, how you choose to be off of their platform, right? Either way, we'll ride it for as long as we can. Gang, welcome to another live stream. Investing and personal finance, and I know I missed a lot of chitter chatter, uh, a lot of chat going on, uh, so my apologies. I'm gonna scroll up and see if there's anything directed towards me. I'm just gonna read it, Speedy Gonzalez style style lonely piggy have you sampled some of the peach liqueur at least i think it was peach. i haven't made any peach yet i plan on making peach and i didn't get to it we missed the opportunity to buy a flat of peach from a local farm we just couldn't get there they were doing uh they were showing up in different places and you could just go by and buy your flat of peach and we missed it unfortunately pineapple liqueur, pineapple liqueur oh my i drink the entire thing spider-man <laughs> trust me there's a reason why i have a lot of different liqueurs so i don't go ballistic on one liqueur and just go crazy on it davash dava shish pandi hey chicho good morning since it's morning in india good morning india how are you doing and it's evening for us how many hours difference iran is 12 hours uh well certain parts of iran so i'm assuming you're 14 hours difference than uh me and i was scrolling down again i don't see any chichos okay i'm all the way down to the bottom gang uh, now that i did the intro there's a lot of stuff going on on both political front, economic front, environmental front, on every front. So to continue with the just the, what Mark Meadows mentioned uh, about land and gold, right? Gold is a hedge against inflation for sure. And it's a hedge against fiat currency. It's a hedge against what? most central governments in the western world are doing that and other 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 countries as well they're flooding their economies with i don't know what do you call it do you call it money anymore you can't call it money it's currency it's it's trying to introduce liquidity into the markets right but what's happening is they're giving money to their own people so that's not filtering through the general population other than little breadcrumbs right here here they throw a little bit of bread comes your way my way our way right and right now people are feeling all oh, some people are getting a little bit of income and stuff like this they're they're feeling still not bad there are some people that are hurting bad right so gold is a good hedge against that land could have been a good hedge against that however what's happening in certain parts of the world okay especially in the western world they're going to start increasing taxes on land because governments are cash strapped right bonds are a bad idea to be in right so if you own land you're locked in and if you bought at a higher rate right higher price than what the market value is because sometimes it goes down right if you decide to sell and if everybody decides to sell then there's going to be a problem you're going to be on the hook for a certain amount of money that you owe to the bank okay if you don't decide to hook you know sell to pull out hopefully you're riding it up again right then you might have to you might be dealing with a lot of taxes coming in because you own that land right so there are periods in our current economic system where liquidity matters greatly okay and i think we're in one of those periods right now uh, so cash will soon be banned uh, banned word yeah there are a lot of governments that are trying to that are rolling out something um, to digitize all their currencies right if you live in a country where they ban cash it's a good idea to start making plans to get out of that country okay you don't have to do it 
Speedy Gonzalez, but it's a good idea that you get into the mindset thinking that, you know what, there are periods throughout human history where mass migration has occurred because totalitarian governments have taken control of certain nations and in the limit those governments commit genocides and uh, you don't want to become a statistic right if cash is banned that means a centralized power can monitor everything you do how many shits you take in the bathroom how many bottles of water you drink okay everything 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 it is extremely dangerous and Kamachicho, hi from Norway. Do you have any thoughts on the global stock market doing doing above expectations despite the pandemic this year? Well, the expectation it's it's a bubble. First of all, uh, in in the U.S. and Canada, less of a bubble than the U.S., but Canada is a bubble too. But I mainly monitor monitor the U.S. stock market, right? Like for example, the Dow Jones market cap, right? So Dow Jones tracks the top 30 stocks in the United States, or not top 30, but tracks 30 companies, right? So they introduce certain companies into the Dow and they it's part of the basket and they track those numbers, right? And they bring it in at a certain market cap and stuff like this. Right now, unless I got my numbers wrong, okay, Apple and Microsoft relative to market cap and a cousin my cousin uh, actually uh, informed me of this right I, I think Apple is weighted as 12% Microsoft was weighted as 5% or something like that but in terms of market cap Apple and Microsoft comprise 40% of the Dow Jones right 40% of the Dow is of market cap of Dow is Apple and Microsoft that's insane right so the u.s stock market is in a bubble right can it go higher well, most definitely because they just flooded in the last year last few months they flooded wall street with trillions of dollars more right is every stock going to go up no there's some legacy companies that are going to collapse and go well, done Commodities might go up, gold, silver, and whatnot. Uh, certain foods, as long as they're stable enough, they might go up. It, it really depends, right? The stock market is not a, a monolith on itself, right? There are different sectors. Right now, or not right now, for the last 10 years, 12 years since Obama flooded the market with trillions of dollars, the Obama administration, almost every sector has seen gains the gold sector did not the gold sector was in a bear market the commodity sector was in a bear market for a number of years really you could have bought kinross gold right a canadian mining uh mining car i believe it's canadian <laughs> anyway kinross most uh, majority of mining companies in the world are stationed in canada and the canadian stock market and stuff that's why i know about this and i'm geophysics you could have bought kinross gold at two dollars and fifty cents two dollars and seventy cents right until like five years ago right now kinross in canadian dollars anyway it's like eleven dollars us us dollars is like nine and a half dollars right there are different things that are making moves right so it's it's a it's a casino okay hosting does not equal supporting is the idea lonely piggy chicho tips for being better with saving money i've saved up over these last few months from the COVID intensive work but i've i always look for something to spend it on a lonely picky stop that and if you're going to spend it on something spend it choose one genre one or two places that you're willing to spend money on don't go crazy on every every place right uh, one way guaranteed you save money guaranteed stop drinking outside of your home don't go to pubs clubs and stuff drinking and don't go to restaurants eating right so if you stop drinking and eating in restaurants and bars 
you will guaranteed save a ton of money okay in Canada especially Montreal is cheaper to eat and drink out than West Coast of Canada here is crazy expensive that's what I would recommend stop stop eating out take out one of your main sources of entertainment huckleberry thoughts on buying airline stocks while it's low I wouldn't personally how low airline stocks there they go through like Boeing last time I checked Boeing was hundred and sixty dollars now or something like that it was sitting at like 300 something collapsed all the way down to like 90 something kicked up to like 180 now it's sitting around 160 or something like this I believe Boeing fair value for it should be around 30 last time I looked into it right if that okay the only reason is it's so high is because it's been given tons of money and it's got military contracts now if the wars kick up again and they they are up like the, don't believe in the bs where you know the us hasn't started any new wars they have right sanctions are a form of warfare right black ops are a form of warfare so military has been doing phenomenally for the last 20 years is this going to continue if so maybe right i personally wouldn't okay if you don't mind hey hey says do you know anything about your heritage you sound uh, east asian european and canadian at the same time uh you pretty much have it right there <laughs> armenian iranian canadian uh, that pretty much covers it hey hey i never seen heard that in my life before Ch -ch -ch i'm not sure which which one that is i'm scrolling to see if there's anything directed towards me uh gang spider-man tesla will overtake them in the next 20 years i'd say tesla is nice hey, hey. <laughs> tesla catholic traditionalist how are you doing good evening folks i hope you have all had a blessed sunday i just got back from picking up my children they spent the weekend kayaking in southwest missouri very nice and that's a great place to invest your time money resources in nature right that give keeps you healthy gets you understanding your local community your local region hopefully you build a relationship with the type of vegetation that grows in your area okay and once you invest in that you will use use it to a certain degree you buy a kayak and if you're committed to it you'll end up using that right keeps you healthy mentally physically spend time with the family builds your community can't go wrong with that right wall street wouldn't like it you know they they're not taking your money and flipping it doing other things mark metal uh i hope they do some development into graphene futuristic stuff right there lonely piggy luckily i don't drink but eating out is one of my guilty pleasures with my best friend noted though i'm interested in uh, watches more and more lately so maybe i could look into that yeah uh, watches are i don't know how uh, what they're how much they increase by if they increase at all if there's a growth in them but uh i know uh, the host of crosstalk uh, what's his name uh, i forget his name he collects watches right collectibles are a good place to be if you know the collectible you're investing in right I'm scrolling down guy catholic traditions chicho they had some amazing food too they had uh, 220 quart boilers wow going full of going full of corn sausage crab legs and crawfish the children caught from the river awesome oh my god that sounds fantastic i gotta go crabbing next year we went camping on an island here and just you go you you go towards the water's edge and you look in and there were crabs like this big 
like big and there was a lot of uh, boats crabbing so it's supposed to be I didn't know this it's supposed to be like an amazing spot to catch crab and people go camping there they don't bring any food they just go camping there they put their traps out and they creek they eat crab every day right I think they bring water and whatnot but no protein right this stream is about finance please keep it on topic indeed indeed bs20 vx chicho hey chicho uh it has been a while i've always heard entrepreneurs saying saving only isn't going to do much it's not they say use this money to produce more money now i don't have much of uh experience here but do you think you're speaking the truth they are speaking the truth so is it just to boost the economy for them to increase their opportunity no it's not it's it's true in our current economic system in essence keep this in mind sort of a mantra you sort of have to get money to beget money right now you don't have to do this by the way you don't have to do this if you're interested in growing your material wealth fiat currency and investing and stuff like this like into tangible goods then yeah you have to get money to work for you right and the reason is this and it's not money it's currency like for example if you have a hundred dollars in your pocket don't consider that money consider that a f currency a means of doing trade because that hundred dollars in your pocket is devaluing every second okay not by much but it's losing its value right so this hundred dollars that you might have right now 20 years from now it won't buy the same amount that it will right now okay just like a hundred years right now did not buy as much as a hundred years uh, as as 20 years ago right now there's disclaimers there right technology price decreases in general unless you're texas instruments selling graphing calculators to school boards for a ripoff those, those prices have been going up insane right but basically there is something called inflation and inflation is the devaluation of your fiat currency so you do have to invest in something tangible or certain instruments right uh, may it be cryptocurrencies uh, stock market or whatever but i wouldn't go into the stock market i personally would not be recommending investing in cryptocurrencies um as as a safe place to be something tangible uh, and that's that's just basically the name of the game right now right but there are times where cash is king where all of a sudden liquidity dries up and if you have cash you can gobble things up at an amazing bargain price and some people and by the way you should have a basket safety net where you can function if you lose all your income coming in at least for six months to a year preferably for two years you won't uh, be in trouble okay uh, mark chicho what materialistic item do you think is worth investing in <laughs> for me mark you're asking me that collects comic books i uh, i do comic books right now right uh, because i know comic books but i don't recommend comic books for everyone collectibles for sure certain collectibles for sure right try to get a great deal if you can right gold is a good hedge like if you had a lot of money let's say you had a basket of money right and that was disposable money you don't need this basket of money to pay for rent buy food send your kids to school buy gas it's it's not money that you have that you're using on a daily basis that's different than this basket of money that you're going to invest in right if you had a basket of money that you can invest in and don't need over an extended period of time i would right now to tell you the truth mark i would probably have at least 10 to 15 percent in gold i would probably have about 20 percent in cash 20 to 40 percent in cash and the other um let's say 50 55 percent i would invest in like two or three different places maybe right 
so it really depends and by the way making sure you have time freedom that's a form of investment so the cash is ensuring that you have you're financially independent if you get your income cut right so that 20 30 percent in cash is an emergency cash fund it's 100 percent liquid right and i wouldn't have it all in the bank okay spider-man chicho i have switched from pes pescatarian to meat eating lately oh no way you're eating meat now spider-man how come king crab is so hard to get into the uh shells but the meat is uh gin ginormous graham how you doing i believe in spending money on projects for learning that's a great place to invest as many of you all know tools materials in order to produce things yeah and in order to fix up your house like if you live in a house you better have some tools in your house so you can do fix things right really i'm scrolling down gang that, that, that lonely piggy watches and i've i'm i've qu uh, quite a few collectibles from dc marvel and beyond still in box paid a pretty penny for a few of them so i can display them in box so i guess that could also be a buffer for sure lonely piggy and by the way when you're investing in something right such as marvel dc whatever it is that is also acts as a layered investment because it's also entertainment for you it also gives you pleasure right it's not just you take the money you put it here and you lock it away and you don't see it and it's not part of your life right it becomes a part of your life such as comic books for me or books or whatever it might be right then that also reduces the entertainment money that you have to spend outside of home right so you also have to consider that as a return on investment as well a lot of people say oh you know oh use a waste of money you put it in a collectible and you lock it away well no you don't lock it away you make it a part of the decor in your house it is part of you part of your living space right that's a return on investment it brings you joy right pleasure joy okay entertainment those are forms of investment that's your dividend coming back right so we have to go beyond this monetary return on investment that fund managers try to sell people right oh bring your money to us and we'll give you you know three and a half percent return four percent return with an mer of one they don't tell you that right so they're taking one percent off the top right so when it says four percent and their mer is one percent you're not getting four percent you're getting three percent right if if you're lucky right and then there's fees and all this crap in there right so people have to get out of that mindset that the only place to invest in is some place that brings you fiat currency as a dividend as a return on investment that is not true maintaining a good health that's your dividend you invest in yourself educating yourself in the limit in the long run is a great investment you become wiser right this has infuriated me darth dart hooky i always go dart darth hooky dart dart hooky this this has inferred me chicho how the wealthiest among us have benefited from all the collective misery of covid and 2020 here's a here's a kicker rookie uh it's not because of covid that they benefited it's because the government gave them trillions of dollars okay and it's not just the super wealthy right those people who had were decentralized right who made sure that their work their livelihood the well-being of their family was not linked in with a government with wall street could have done okay right like for example for me i had certain amount of my revenue being cut however new clients came in right so because i'm an 
educating, but I'm not educating in a centralized system. I made sure I was decentralized. So a lot of people that were decentralized to a certain degree, they fared better than those people who were working for a corporation or for the government and the government shuts down, right? So it really depends. We're going through term chaotic terms right now and during during these times there are amazing opportunities and there are growth spots right there are places that you're going to see growth the question is are you positioned to take advantage of that growth right and i agree with you by the way i don't uh, it, it's crazy that we allow our governments to give trillions of dollars to multi-billion trillion dollar corporations to buy back their own shares so they can get more dividends and get the stock price up. it's insane i agree with you however we shouldn't just look at wall street that's one of the main things that i'm trying to really make sure it sinks into people because the establishment wants people to think that the only place to invest in in wall is wall street right they say oh you have to put your money in retirement savings plan social security all this stuff right and where where do they put your money it's your money right they 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 convince people to do this because they give you tax benefits if you put your money in a retirement savings plan in canada I don't, in the us is called what are uh, irs or whatever it's called right every country has it they say oh yeah if you put your money in the stock market we'll reduce that from your income that you you have that way you're in a lower tax bracket and sometimes the government matches it or matches a certain part of it so they give you an incentive to invest in the establishment start looking outside of that start looking outside of that mark metals but they're the only ones that are allowed as approved calculators in school especially for tests mark metals what i tell my students is don't especially you know i have students from all walks of life some are low income uh some have been very low income some are extremely well off right i tell all of them if you can't afford to buy a calculator that texas instrument rip off don't do it right and if your teacher forces you to do it take the hit of a lower grade or borrow their calculator okay and just use a normal calculator that has square roots and cube roots and you know sine and cosine and all that jazz right i can't justify paying that much for for a technology which its price has gone up over time because they have a monopoly it's to me it's it's insane catholic tradition of chicho i had an opportunity to see the lumber my father and one of my brothers milled they are building two homes on property they just bought all of the lumber for the houses will come from the property itself land equipment etc a sawmill and tools all very good investment in my, my opinion incredible investment catholic traditionists and but this is something that is a long-term investment that they've had right it must be okay and it's a it's a part of your family it, from everything you you share catholic tradition is your whole community your whole family is is has been programmed to take advantage to work with your surroundings with nature and whatnot uh, kudos to you guys it's a great way to be it's a great way to be door noki have you ever studied development psychology i'm not sure what that, that encompasses uh, emily the money i had in in an account grew 15 percent average every year for a while try and stick with good names and do your research when you invest 100 it's on you what you want to invest in where you're going to put your money in right mark would you ever use some of that basket of cash to buy a successful corporate chain like a gym restaurant store right now uh, i'm trying to think of any corporate chains that would buy right now um, if anything comes out regarding cannabis 
possibly uh, but i would not invest in a gym i would not invest in a restaurant but not by a long shot uh, a store depending on the store uh, so mark uh, possibly but right now i would hold off retail space is about to go on sale really i think a retail uh retail real estate is in deep trouble uh from everything that i've seen anyway from the data that i've seen so i would hold off until uh you can find an amazing deal hemp is the future for sustainable housing with better mark says hemp is, is the future for sustainable housing with better insulation for indoor environments and you can grow more fiber in one year than you could in 20 years off one acre yeah hemp is it it should have never gone out of our economic system right I would, <laughs> regular says i would invest in chicho bucks if i had the chance regular who knows maybe at some point right invest in nvidia nvidia is uh, pretty high up there in terms of uh, money nvidia if i remember my data correctly in the last 10 years it's gone from like six seven dollars to 200 something dollars that's a huge return catholic traditionalist invest in uh, yeah sorry da, 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 where are we yeah catholic traditionalists uh chicho that is correct and further we tend to invest with a multi-generational mindset many of the things we are engaged in example planting orchards um developing healthy water systems etc are with our children and grandchildren in mind excellent catholic traditionists and that is the way it should be that is the way our the whole world should function in wall street is on the other spectrum wall street looks for quick returns okay bernie ct hey chicho just popping in to say hello and hope everyone is doing well hope your sunday t -t 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 sunday nights are a nice relaxing end to the weekend indeed bernie and thank you very much for the well wishes I hope yours, uh, your Sunday and your week goes well. Hey, hey, their market is going to go kaboom in the coming months. Whoever has a lot of Nvidia stock, going to be rich as heck lately. Maybe invest in AMD <laughs> bicycles <laughs> with the new 30s card coming out. I heard about that actually. Hey, hey, I heard they're putting on a new card uh, that's supposed to be amazing. Uh, so yeah possibly possibly maybe put some cash aside and don't buy in uh, time you know buy in, in increments uh, especially in bubble markets intrepid how are you doing what is the most you've ever made in investment chicho <laughs> uh, when i played the markets uh, uh, you could make a lot you could make a lot in a day okay you can make a lot in a day not hundreds not thousands but tens of thousands right but it's it you give up a little bit the the cost is high right not in terms of money in terms of who you are what you have to do right cheryl nvidia ordinary shares have increased almost 200 dollars per share just in the past one and a half years crazy growth yeah so it's one and a half years in the last five years yeah i remember the chart it's just basically if you look at a one year it did the boo and it's coming back up again and i can't remember if it was a 10-year chart i was looking or five-year chart it was like this and right. it could continue Bitcoin miners have made video card processors in demand. Yeah, Montreal player. Yeah. And that's where Nvidia really got the huge spike from, right? Mark Metals, one major part of it, as well as gaming, of course. Apparently, the 3080 isn't that much of an upgrade. Haven't heard much from 
overclocking cool yeah i've heard some stuff too but uh for me um as you know i'm not into the stock market right now personally i'm not interested homemade blackberry jam and a little cracker legendary rob boss how are you doing chicho did you know that a that a hot dog is technically a taco a hot dog is technically a taco i have no idea what does that mean anyway open it up put it in there that's what a taco is definition of taco the eddie g mark metals no the new gen looks very promising does it competition makes us all winners indeed competition makes us all winners by the way gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs apologies if i'm missing them um, i try to follow the chat as best as i can and stay up with it and sometimes i go on rants right chicho a taco is defined as a food that has a structural starch uh, structural starch on the sides and bottom of the food ah so it's basically like this so it's open sandwich on one side so um, a falafel would be technically a taco as well as long as they close the bottom right and a shawarma sandwich would be ah okay everybody's got tacos Ev everywhere in the world we eat tacos so is a calzone a taco is um taco if you open it a bit yeah so is calzone calzone is the ones that pocket it's like pocket pizzas isn't it calzones those are good i haven't had one of those for a long time calzones delicious very good <laughs> man i'm craving calzones <laughs> my mouth is watering at the thought of a structural <laughs> starch material process well calzones aren't typically open though you could open them calzones are closed all around though cheryl no sharma talk unless you're going to send me what i know i'm craving <laughs> i used to eat a lot of shawarma so good i'm getting the gluten sweats mark metal says lonely piggy how long before the next big crash in the economy uh, chicho i we're we're seeing one right now the crash right now is unbelievable <laughs> lonely piggy it's huge <laughs> I'm guessing with how things are moving sooner than like seriously forget the stock market stock market is an illusion is delusion is it's 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 a joke like everybody knows the stock market is a joke but people keep on putting money into it because the joke may continue right government like central governments central banks are buying stocks now right so it's just like oh let's let's keep the party going for the for the super rich and the five percent that own 80 percent of the stocks uh in the world or 90 percent of the stocks in the world it's just crazy what we need to do is divest from that system make sure your future is not tied up with the oligarchs because the oligarchs they're you know there might be some nice oligarchs out there but the system that they've established is predatory right the way they make more is by destroying any competition right so whatever you do if you want to be in the stock market be in the stock market doesn't like really but don't put all your eggs in the stock market basket like look i had a discussion with with someone uh, about a month ago month and a half ago and we we're talking about investing and stuff i said yeah comic books right and they're like oh comic books are not a in place you should invest your money i go look dude collectibles are a legitimate place to invest your money art canadian art has increased on average 25 percent per year over the last 20 years 30 years that's 25 percent return oh it's not a good it's not it's not a it's not a, it's not a it, it's not liquid it's not this it's not this it's not yeah sure and then i sort of went look man i'm trying to get my point across and i sort of said look man because of this COVID thing when the pandemic hit the stock market 
All right, the Dow Jones dropped and the S&P dropped 30% in a week. During that same period that the stock market dropped 30%, the prices of comics dropped 10%. Now, which one is a better investment, right? Who gives a rat's ass if the market, stock market is more liquid? If you, you invest your money, build your life ar around the following mindset, make sure you have at least people say six months i say at at least a year to two years if you have at least two years ability to and you have you would have to reduce your spending big time right if you could live without major income coming in for two years and then take whatever extra you make and invested in wherever you want if you don't need that liquidity that the stock market provides then the there are way better places to invest in right a lot of people invest in the stock market because it's liquid they could call their broker if they're silly enough to have a broker right or go online and press buttons and sell everything but what happens when everybody's selling if you put a hundred thousand dollars into the market or and the value of the thing is five hundred thousand dollars now you put a hundred thousand dollars let's say ten years ago the value of the thing is five hundred thousand dollars and everybody decides to sell at the same time and you pull out a hundred and fifty thousand dollars okay you made fifty percent return in ten years right that's the way you have to think about it right it's it's very weird there are people out there who don't think, who think the only place that you, you should invest in is either land or the stock market. They don't consider food security investment. They don't consider their health investment. They don't consider their education investment. They don't consider the stability of their community investment. They don't consider all these things to be investments that pay off in the long run way more than what? Disney giving you dividends of 1.25% or something like this? What kind of a you can't even compare the two right food is a good investment elder god says and i 100 percent agree legendary bob ross also pizza sushi and pumpkin pie are all toast because they all have a structural start only in the bottom <laughs> good food for sure elder god says. uh cheryl says to elder god good food good food for sure indeed bad food could be a bad place to invest your money yo chicho two day streak two day streak bunsen fj bunsen welcome welcome back greater fool theory in action cheryl i take typically take a contrarian position but have been too twitchy to act on anything da, 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 in a long time Cheryl might have been good and by the way it's you can take a little bit and play the markets just realize that you're gambling and when you're gambling you better not be gambling money that you need to live on right I have more toilet paper three chicho streams in four days love it awesome <laughs> Bunsen, hey Chicho, what are your thoughts on Elon Musk and his neural link development? Uh, I would not get a chip that Elon uh, Musk uh, starts selling, right? And uh, as far as Musk is concerned, I don't, I don't really care for him too much. Uh, there was a love-hate thing. While well, there was a lot of love people had for him, now people are starting to realize. Wait a second, right? For me. I don't care about care about the oligarchs really. When will it, but the neural neural link development, uh, transhumanism is a direction that we are going, right? The problem with transhumanism, I don't I don't disagree with transhumanism per se. I disagree with centralization of power, and if we enter a world where transhumanism is an option or a dictate. From central power on all of us then we have serious problems okay serious problems 
Catholic tradition is I invest in some Taco Bell food the other day. The return was not good. <laughs> you end up using a lot of toilet paper too, so it's you're losing on every front. <laughs> I have more toilet paper <laughs> right after Catholic tradition has posted that comment. <laughs> Very you should take a screenshot of this. Uh Chicho, my wife uh my wife and I watched The Social uh, Dilemma on Netflix last night. I told her the echoes of Chicho shouting, you're an idiot for watching recommended videos on YouTube. <laughs> is that something Netflix recommended to you guys? I have no idea what that thing is, The Social Dilemma. <laughs> I hope she took it in good light. Uh, humor. Funny, funny. <laughs> Mark medals to Catholic traditionalists. But you made a solid deposit, right? I got a feeling it wasn't very solid if you had Taco Bell. Funny, funny. <laughs> I have my toilet paper. Yes. <laughs> funny. The nuclear nugget can be, a, can be saved and you have <laughs> to power up mobile phone elder god says <laughs> hilarious salute to the humor gang salute to the humor nick nasim nicholas talib fan of nasim nicholas talib indeed indeed if that's what you mean if if you're asking me if i'm a fan of talib Kowell, indeed indeed that's hip-hop I, I don't think I'm pronouncing it well, but Talib Kowell and Mostaf, they put out an album, two albums, which were absolutely amazing. Black uh, black on both th both sides was one of them. The other one was, uh, it had black in it as well. I forget what the name was it. But uh, Nassim Nicholas Talib, indeed. Of course, Nassim Nicholas Talib. Yeah, for sure, Montreal player. I've read his book, The Skin in the Game. Uh, I liked it. Good read. Good read indeed. Highly recommend. Become anti-fragile people. Do not depend on centralized power to save your ass and provide you safety, security, comfort, education, housing. Right? They, they don't have your best interest in mind. Cheers. Good to find you. Montreal player. Good to have you. <laughs> Are you from Montreal? Are you from Montreal? Do you listen to music? For sure. Uh, Bonson. What do you like listening to? Oh, man. I listen to... Most of the music I listen to is... Um, Hip-hop, uh, blues, uh, jazz, metal and electronic uh, so i don't listen to rock very much i wouldn't you know uh for nostalgia's sake sometimes i do but i don't do nostalgia very much <laughs> I, I do uh i like novelty uh i do i do appreciate experiences so because with experiences i learn more about the world and it gives me more investment opportunities so that's one thing but and uh, by the way I, we will do a music stream i've been meaning to do this uh, to let you guys know what go through my mp3 player and i use just a little mp3 player for gigs and i rotate that but at the beginning of summer i set up my mp3 player and um, i've been meaning to do a live stream just to show you usually i would do a video but my video editing computer is on having hiccups so i've been meaning to do a live stream where i'm showing you guys the music that i listened to this summer and it's beautiful the john coltrane uh, um thanolius monk uh nina simone uh, nuja bass uh, a lot of stuff i want to invest in non-food nutritional sources I am thinking diet foods and supplements. Why not? 
Cheryl, manufacturing. Manufacturing what? In uh, manufacturing, possibly. Uh, Cheryl, there's going to be... Uh, well, right now, is we're into a trade war, economic warfare, cyber warfare with China. The West is anyway, right? So there's a lot of industry that was established in China. Smith, the legend, the man, how are you doing? <laughs> there's, there was a lot of industry, Western industry, that was established in China and because of the laws being passed they need to get out of china now they try going to thailand and some other countries but they realized the uh, they couldn't produce on the same capacity as they could in china because china slave labor horrendous working conditions and the work ethic is different right so they're having certain problems transitioning away from china so there could be certain in investment opportunities in manufacturing personally I would consider localized manufacturing a great place to invest in as long as it's got a nice foothold in the community get into white label manufacturing mark metals i don't know what white label manufacturing is Graham, i would invest in learning how to manufacture your own things why not learn machining and carpentry yeah carpentry um, papa. construction might have a hiccup uh, grab so renovations yes uh, but as long as this, we'll see where it goes really the construction industry might have hiccups maybe it really the things are so much in flux right now it's very hard that's one reason it's a traders market that's one reason you should have a little basket of money on the side to take opportunities buy things up that you can right what industries do you think will become automated um, away truck drivers are at threat to auto autonomous drivers in the next decade i don't think it's going to be next decade uh bonson next decade what will be the solution to the unemployment the solution to the unemployment man i don't think there is a solution to the unemployment right now uh solution to the unemployment some people say is ubi but at ubi is leads to complete centralization of everything with cash gone and everything digital and the government can dictate what you can buy what you can like for example just assume ubi kicks in right and cash is eliminated in new york right when was this in new york was it como who i forget their names right in new york they passed a law that um, sugary drinks could not be sold or they were taxed higher so the prices went up right so the government centralized government came out and said sugar drinks are really bad for your health is putting a strain in our current uh, healthcare system if you can call the healthcare system so we're going to tax it more right now just imagine if cash is eliminated and the solution to the unemployment the solution to the unemployment problem kicking in is going to be universal basic income and everything's digital and then slowly what's going to happen is centralized power is going to put you know little footnotes in the bottom saying okay here's your digital currency but you can't buy this you can't buy this you can't buy this you can't buy this so when you go to a store to buy this all of a sudden it's easily done all of a sudden you can't buy this because there's a lock on it right that's how it's controlled and then they could also say let's say they bring another lockdown in right they want to control movement within a country right so you live in a cer certain location right all your money is digitized now it doesn't have to be ubi that's digitized let's assume you live in a town or a city or rural area somewhere and all your money is digitized the centralized government right all of a sudden decides for whatever reason that it needs to be able to prevent people from moving around for whatever reason right all they can do and they have done this with credit cards and 
taking money out of banks. I wrote an article about this in, uh, on my blog when I was writing about economics and stuff like this. They did this in 2007 or so, right? All they have to do is say, okay, your digital currency is available to you only within 20 kilometers of your home residence, right? So all of a sudden, I don't give a rat's ass if you have $10 million in the bank or $1,000 in the bank. You can't take that money out or you can't take it out anyway. It's all digital. You can't use that currency beyond a 20 kilometer radius from your home. Oh, snap. Damn. What? Prison. Okay. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. Really be careful, gang. Uh, Graham, I believe all industries can be automated. Educators are near the chopping block, says I. Uh, Graham, that's uh, Graham saying, Graham, Chicho, right. Learn carpentry so that you can make your own things and don't have to rely on anyone else for anything. Agree, Graham. Uh, and I wouldn't say for anything, for building things, you don't have to rely on, rely on them, right? Uh, we, we need each other for many things okay but uh one thing graham i don't think good educators are going to be automated out it's not going to happen i haven't seen it if anything i'm seeing demand for my work increasing in a big way in a big way because when automation rolls in it's done from a centralized power through our centralized education system and that automation of education is not going to be education it's going to be indoctrination a couple of orders of magnitude more horrendous than what it is now right and parents you know are not gonna for the most part i don't know for the most part some some parents won't be able to provide alternate education for their children hopefully they'll decide to reduce their expenses reduce the amount of time they're working uh, outside right uh, and spend time with their kids to educate them themselves but I don't think uh, educators are going to be automated out and truck drivers is not going to happen within 10 years mark metals just remember during the gold rush it wasn't the miners that made money it was the guys selling the picks and axes indeed right and I'll give you an example mark I did geophysics in in Canada for a long time, right? For ten years, uh, for ten years in nineteen nineties, I did geophysics. I did both. Uh, I did a lot of environmental. My focus was environmental, but I did work uh, some uh, geotechnical and engineering and stuff like this, right? I would fly to certain mining camps where we had to do geophysics and whatnot some of the people living in these little towns little far off towns like one place we went to was nain nain in north um in uh, uh, labrador okay and it was uh, i forget the bay we're in and i forgot the mine we're in it was a, it was the largest nickel mine in the world okay the people living in that little town all of a sudden became millionaires because they had the means to bring in the piping and the on a more complex level the axe and picks and stuff like this to the company and the companies the multi-billion dollar companies wanted to keep the general population happy so they were willing to play inflated prices for things right 100 percent mark metals great point legendary rob boss i think the uh empirical evidence of the recent qe for the people the fed put in place shows the ubi is not going to work it's not going to work but ubc may have a chance ubc universal basic what does c stand for cash <laughs> i don't know what c is <laughs> going for this is being taxed to you can't buy this at all is a pretty big jump uh rickland are you referring to me saying the kilometer thing in the mid 2000s that is exactly what certain banks and certain credit card companies did they limited how far away from 
their home, people could purchase money, access their funds, right? It was crazy. It was crazy. Mark Meadows, white label manufacturing is basically having the manufacturing and processing equipment to make whatever product your clients are buying into an end product so that the buyer can then slap them their own labels on it. Hence, white label. Oh, that's what it is. So generic, uh, creating generic products where you can just give it or sell it to other companies to put their own labels on it. Ah, oh, that's cool. White label manufacturing. I didn't know it was called that. Yes. Use tax variables to control your diet. Graham, Mark Meadows. Yes, I have seen this. Cheap Chinese lathes are all identical but have different names on them. Huh. Graham. Uh, Chicho, do you think there's a market for doing what you do, but for practical education like machining and making things? Uh, machining is a problem because you need the equipment. Uh, you could, I don't know, it takes investment like Graham, what you, like for machining anyway, right? Retail industry is about to, as far as I see it, right? Retail industries, uh, retail. Uh, real estate is about to take a tumble huge relative to where it's at it was a bubble it was insane right so if you're able to get a location really cheap and if you have the equipment to put it in there and if there and it really depends on the community right if you're in a community where people understand what it means to have uh anti-fragile community sustainable community where people have an interest in building their own products and you could market the space you create and provide the machinery for people to build what it is they want to build and hold classes holding classes let's say that pays the rent and your basic income and you have to have a tier system i guess graham right so i'm just thinking out loud by the way don't take this as absolute or take it with a grain of salt right so just imagine if i was seriously thinking about this my first idea would be okay find a really cheap commercial real estate make sure the zoning laws are there that you can hold classes as well as have people come in make sure you can get the insurance you need for people outside of classes as well as classes but outside of classes to come in there to use the machinery don't do it under the table because if anything happens you're bankrupt right you need those safety nets in there let's assume you can get all this right and you set up different hardware right machines in place for people to make their own things now one thing you would have to do is figure out what it is that people want to make you would have to get the blessing of the local community the local government so there's a lot of loopholes you want to go through but what you would need to do to for the money aspect of it make sure the classes you hold are able to cover the rent and your taxes and maintenance on the machinery and pay your rent right and bare minimum so that's your bare minimum you're functioning on your gravy would be renting out the space for people that want to make products right and that you can layer multiple things on top of that right so it wouldn't just be renting out space for people to make products you could also have a gift shop available where people can sell the product right or you could make higher uh what do you call that uh contract out work to your students right so pay the minimum wage bring them in make something and sell that product pre-ordered from a farm or whatever it is so that you could do so much ground right but there's loopholes you have to you know go through you there, there there's bureaucracy you have to go through uh and it would be costly and it would be fragile at first but if you're able to establish yourself get a foothold in a community it will be one of the most anti-fragile establishments there is it would be basically a decentralized education center that is manufacturing at the same time on a local level it would make your community so anti-fragile man you people will love you 
as long as you can market it properly great idea let's do it <laughs> i am for local buying but not in an enforced way yeah i agreed elder god centralized power cannot enforce either uh through cash or credit control yeah cheryl to graham you directed the question to chicho but given that i've been trying to find comprehensive woodworking courses near me for over 10 years with no luck i would say yes there's a huge opportunity for manufacturing um, education outside of secondary ed i i'm with cheryl just talking this through it would be beautiful man right your voice is so soothing and he says <laughs> salute I have more toilet paper chicho living in perth western australia we are currently going through a micro boom the state the state has locked the borders none is allowed in this has st stimulated the local market and the mining companies have started to hire locals awesome unfortunately the uneducated are spoon fed a boat full of cash and without the education to manage this sudden influx they soon soon squatter it on trash a fool and his money are soon parted i worry this micro boom will pop and the damage will be huge right there uh, i have more toilet paper right there is an opportunity for someone within the community to start taking advantage of all the money coming in to make the community anti-fragile and what you said check this out what you said reminded me of a historical event that happened right um i i i looked into this so long ago like 20 plus years ago right when the british empire controlled china and hong kong right asia okay they set up a lot of factories there they it, it was becoming extremely wealthy right and the locals were becoming extremely wealthy right this is what the british empire did the British Empire, beside the factories where they were paying the workers, right, set up casinos, right? So the British Empire controlled the casinos. The Chinese workers would go in the factories, they would make their money, and then they would go blow it in the casino, right? Bakara was, and I, I know about this because I looked into gambling. I, I, I made my living off gambling for a period of time, and I did phenomenal okay but it's not a lifestyle i want it right but bakara is a game in a casino that is basically flipping a coin okay you play banker or player bakara was created if i recall correctly by the british empire okay because the people that were working in these factories were mostly illiterate and they didn't know games of chance well so the british empire created a game that that's why james bond movies always have baccarat in them right they created a game that was so simple to play that people that were uneducated could play so these people would come in and play baccarat basically flipping a coin and it was a guaranteed win for the casino if they play player they got even odds payout if they played banker if they won the casino would take five percent so both ways they were getting two and a half percent on every on in the limit two and a half percent on every bet holy camoles what a game right incredible so yes industry centralized power will go into a community flooded full of money and at the same time flooded full of drugs flooded full of prostitution and build casinos this is this is the the business model of centralized power and it has been so for a number of centuries okay so um it's it's the responsibility of the community to make sure that the population is wise enough not to fall for this trap and it's difficult and it destroys communities okay 
Mark Meadows, I took a woodworking course back in January and asked the teacher about places to do woodworking. A lot of the equipment is very expensive, but unfortunately, there's nowhere around except one place you can take a slab of wood to shape uh, shape down. But you have to go there every time you want a specific cut. It's not only expensive, but annoying making um so many trips yeah mark and that's the same way here and i think it's because of insurance like for example this bookshelf here that you see behind me i built this right so i looked at it measured out the stuff and initially i put one of the things down just to make sure it was going to be good but all of this wood that i got i got from a local uh sort of a it's not a lumber it is lumber they sell lumber but they sell uh it's like a hardware store right but they have a lumber there as well very minimal it's not for people building homes it's for people doing stuff like this right uh renovations in the house and all of this with my measurements when i bought the wood it came in you know large pieces and i had my measurements and i when i bought it i told them to do all the cuts right i said i need this cut into this 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 i need this i need a little notch here da, 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 and like, and if you're building anything it, it's it's a good idea you the odds are you're going to make mistakes right it's a good idea to have some kind of power tool at home to correct your mistakes i had my fingers crossed i did my measurements right for me i was lucky everything turned out well and i put it together okay so mark yeah but i think it's mainly because of insurance a lot of people people injure themselves on power tools in a big way graham chicho so you are really talking about community resource center kind of thing yeah graham it has to be uh it has to have the full support of the community okay that would be my way of going into it because the time the resources required to put something like this together it would be a disaster for anyone to do this and then hit a wall because one of your t's was not crossed and one of your i's was not dotted the bureaucracy could end you you have to have the full support of the community because if you have the full support of the community you if you hit any snags you have the community backing you up right i would not invest that much resources uh by rolling the dice in this it could end you right cheryl uh to graham it's been extremely frustrating and that's without the added joy of asking as a woman but that's a topic for a different stream Bidget. cheryl too bad you're not in england we love wood <laughs> same with canada we love wood especially in nottingham graham says or elder god says mark metals there's a huge gap in resources available to the general popu populace for things like metalworking woodworking etc there's definitely a market to have a have a come and go workshop for those types of um, favi's careers yeah i agree it, the insurance is huge the insurance needs to be uh, really looked into just not the ancients leave them alone please yeah the the old growth forest for sure legendary rob boss chicho speaking of anti-fragile have you read anti-fragile things that gain from disorder by nasim nicholas that is very good no i haven't read anti-fragile but the skin in the game covers much of the topic of anti-fragile and being anti-fragile is a concept that's been around for a long time and it's something that i've incorporated into my life before encountering nasim nicholas talib the first time i really uh, heard about the concept of anti-fragile was through bruce lee where bruce lee was quoting someone else saying be like water my friend right and that's the same concept as being anti-fragile go with the flow make sure you're not a stick a brick wall or a tree where a typhoon comes and just destroys you bend like the blades of grass right or as bruce lee would say be like water my friend or as nasim nicholas talib would say build an anti-fragile life right i 
I love toilet paper. I'm English. So what you're saying, it's in my blood to exploit the weak. No, <laughs> I don't think it is. It's in the blood of empire, right? Empires exploit others, right? Empires exploit the weak or destroy their obstacles, right? You from Somta. Oh, how do you pronounce your name? Somta. That has funny consequences. Yeah, agreed on the insurance issue. Yeah. Graham's idea the insurance is 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 a tricky one. Very tricky. Because you can get insurance, right? But then the insurance company might change the policy on you when you go to renew. So what you need to do is if if this goes ahead, one of the first things you would have to do is get your insurance on a long-term basis, right? So there's a lot of capital to be put on the forefront, right? Emily, yeah, I can imagine insurance would cause complications because lots of people could get hurt. Indeed, indeed. And that's one of the main problems with the Western world, right? It's not, you wouldn't have this problem in other parts of the world. Insurance would not be a big issue because you couldn't really sue anyone if you hurt yourself you hurt yourself take responsibility for your own actions right to a certain degree right there's got to be some policy in there safety glasses and safety gear and gloves and you need training and stuff like this but we've be become a nanny state so that's a major problem right nanny states are monopolistic in general my blackberry jam very good this is bottom of the pot so it was uh, it was a thicker I made um, how many pounds I took ten and a half pounds of blackberries used Four, about four pounds of sugar to make uh, blackberry jam and it came out to like uh, four, about six liters uh, five or six liters of jam which is really good and I wanted to do another batch but it's too smoky to uh, to uh, to go out blackberry picking mm-hmm and by the way legendary raw boss that's a low ratio a lot of jams that you buy in stores and stuff it's 50 50 right so if you use 10 pounds of blackberries you would use 10 pounds of sugar i use two to one ratio at most right i wanted this jam to be on the thicker side so um I didn't want it to be syrupy the strawberry jam I made it was a one to three ratio one to four ratio right so four pounds of strawberries for one pound of sugar so it was different all right good seeing everyone mark says and take care all I got to get off get off for the evening sweet dreams mark and thank you for popping in and discussion uh, and we'll see you on the next stream elder god you can fill fill into any vessel you're adaptable in any situation never commit yourself to one ideology be like water be like water cheryl says good night to mark catholic traditionist i brought home a bunch of goodies from my father's root cellar putting a hurting on a jar on a jar of pickles oh pickled orca oh okra oh pickled orca oh, okra as we speak nice okra is like little eggplants i think that's okra right we make okra stew which is absolutely amazing uh, and we eat it with rice it's um it's a persian dish i've never had pickled okra 
This is, sounds delicious. By the way, Catholic traditionalists, you posted a picture of making some uh, roasted uh, root vegetables on our Discord page. It totally motivated me. I made a couple of platters of uh, roasted vegetables uh, today. I ate some of it. We're going to eat it for like three days or so. It's root vegetable season, gang. Elder God to Cheryl, my father made my bed as a teen from local wood. Nice. And as an amateur, nice. BC have uh, some of the best black. Yeah, BC have some of the best blackberries. My auntie makes amazing jam. Must be the uh, Maple Ridge Air, maybe. I'm on the island, but we got some. We found a place that's amazing blackberry. Really, I I had planned on going yesterday. I didn't go too smoky. I had planned on going today. I didn't go too smoky. Uh, but there were some amazing blackberries there. We were there like four days ago, five days ago. This has been a great stream, Will Show says. Nice. Oh, wow. We're already an hour and a half in. Time flies, gang. Legendary Rob Boss Chicho, do you have any tips for making pickled cucumbers versus firm fermenting them? I want to pickle cucumbers, but without heating them. <laughs> Legendary Rob Boss, my partner, we made pickles. Uh, this season I made pickles using my mom's recipe is pretty simple water uh, vinegar salt uh, and uh, I just filled up the jars this is as simple as that no heat right but it's not ferment, uh, fermenting right my partner made jarred pickles by heating them up as well as she made the fer fermented style right we've already gone through one gigantic ball of the fermented style i didn't take pics pics of that i didn't share that stuff i didn't share the fer uh, fermented the fermented you have to keep in the fridge after the once it's nicely fermented right you can't keep it outside because it's not sealed right so you need the fridge space um but i didn't make it my partner made it the way i made my pickles was so easy um just heat up the water and did I even heat up the water? Man, I can't. Yeah, you boil the water. My mom told me how to do it. I wrote it down. Uh, I boiled the water, added the vinegar, salt, and uh, just lined up the veg, the pickles and the cabbage and uh, beans and just poured the stuff. And I, I forget how I made it. I, it's my first time making it. I made it a little bit too salty. A legendary Rob Boss next time my partner makes maybe we do a cooking live stream and we show i'll run it past her persian cucumbers make great pickles indeed persian cucumbers make amazing pickles what percentage of salt uh, water brine do you do you use three percent no mine was higher um i forget i wrote it down i have it marked down on stickies on my desk i haven't transferred it over yet um i forget what it was uh legendary rob boss i know but i don't want to heat it unless i'm going to use the water i boil it in as the brine becomes uh because water soluble nutrients will leach out of the water yeah and um my partner also made uh, fermented um sauerkraut so good so good very good very lucky chicho yes please okay i'll talk to her i'll talk to her she wants to do another round we're all we're at the end of the season the farm we go to still has pickles they don't have the dill sticks uh the big dill uh what do you call them the branches but they still have pickling cucumbers i don't know why they still have them so she mentioned it but she's really busy um in the next couple of weeks i'm not sure if we're gonna get a chance to do this year uh, but next year i'll work on her try to convince her to do legendary rob boss chicho could you post your pickle cucumber recipe on discord i'd love to see them uh legendary rob boss if you remind me on discord i'll look it up and post it okay i hope it's there it should be there if not i'll ask my mom again <laughs> yes i make sauerkraut too um, i've got that down to a t do you nice 
it, it takes a lot of work you should put it in a big it's not a crock pot but it's a big container thing and layer the stuff and pound it and put cloth over it let it sit for like a month okay we'll do awesome thanks fun fun stream gang nice economic investing personal finance personal finance really but personal finance is investing what do you want to invest in right this jam amazing with feta cheese toast up some bread feta cheese put blackberry jam on top man oh man legendary rob boss making sauerkraut is not that much work once you know the process i let my ferment for two months and it is amazing yeah she actually let it ferment for uh, ferment for a month a month and a week or so and then she started jarring some of it and then the bottom hadn't fermented so about a third of it is still fermenting so it's been two months now but you need to put it in the fridge right legendary rob boss so you have to she made a lot so we have big sauerkraut jars in our fridge right now and there's more coming we better start eating it elder god i believe personal finance is spiritual as well indeed 100 percent, 100 percent. raquel chicho i know you said you only need to leave strawberry liqueur for three weeks and then you can drink it but is there any benefit to leaving it longer the flavor gets stronger i i don't take the strawberries out i leave it like three weeks i start drinking it and then some two weeks i start drinking it but once i start drinking it i don't remove the strawberries i start eating the strawberries and then when when the liqueur the liquid goes down i fill it up again if the sweetness was really high i don't add any sugar if i if i want the sweetness to kick up again i add a little bit more sugar so once the liquid goes down the alcohol goes down there's lots of strawberries up top i pour vodka fill it up to the top again give it a shake and let it sit again for two to three weeks something it's longer a little bit the second go around and start drinking again and goes down again do it again do it again and eat the strawberries so and how long will it last in the in uh, in the long run it'll i haven't had any fruit liqueurs go bad ever and i had fruit liqueurs that are like three four decades old i know it's not finance related but i appreciate your wisdom now, I, to me it is finance related this is amazing drinks that we can have at home that cost us very little right that if you wanted to have this in a restaurant or a bar it would be insanely expensive right this is personal finance to me this is investing to me and you can eat here's pineapple you can eat the pineapples right this is going to be strong so the vodka taste is so strong on the pineapples <laughs> very nice very nice legendary raw boss yes when you're ready to harvest and it is at the texture you want then you transfer it to the fridge okay so you make not like we made a huge batch <laughs> a little bit too big we gotta eat it fast catholic traditionist at this talk 
uh, is making me hungry. I am going to have to run downstairs and grab a jar of jalapeno jelly and some toast to tie all this in with investing. Consider investing in the knowledge and materials to do food preservation, canning, jam, jelly, preserves, meat cur curing, etc. A great move towards food security. I'm 100% with Castle Traditionist. I haven't done any meat curing yet, uh, but I want to learn. I want to learn the old school technique where they would cure the meat, put it in a jar, pack it, and then they put a layer of fat that seals it, no oxygen, and that would stay all winter. And supposedly, it was supposed to be so amazing flavor. I got to learn how to do that. And it is investment. It saves you money. Like, really, it saves you money. Like, a jar of jam, let's say it costs me time, sugar, energy. Right? The time is hobby. It's exercise. I'm outdoors picking the blackberries. I'm indoors doing cooking in the kitchen. I'm okay with it. It's exercise. It's different types of movement that I'm sitting behind a computer. The cost of money is whatever right so a jar of blackberry organic i use organic cane sugar a jar of organic blackberry jam probably cost me i don't know three dollars four dollars three dollars right two dollars in terms of materials i don't know right if you bought that in a store that's like fifteen dollars right or more i don't know i don't buy jam in the stores right or i haven't for a very long time you save money right Ricky, awesome. Thanks for answering. My pleasure. What did I answer? Oh, yeah, the liqueur. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> I've seen a millionaire who looks so sad and a homeless man who was so happy. Elder God, 100%, right? Money does not make you happy. It makes certain things in life easier to acquire, right? But it, it, the correlation between wealth and happiness is, is not there right money is a you is as useful as it needs to be yeah thriller 13 i've been making my own bitters it's fun to experiment and make it your own just need grain alcohol and ingredients yeah oh yeah by the way gang what can you make with hops i'm about to harvest hops tomorrow i've never harvested hops i'm just gonna cut the flowers i gotta look online amazing facial expression when <laughs> when eating that pineapple yeah, is really strong i swear it the, the fruits and all the fruits are like this the fruits just suck in the alcohol i don't know why it tastes so strong legendary rob boss yeah i'm only one person and because i portion control very well i go through about one head of cabbage of sauerkraut in a month so basically only go through 12 cabbages a year for um, a regular supply of sauerkraut awesome that's good thriller you don't have to spend a lot at the grocery store 50 50 last me weeks yeah you could you could make it last a long time oats is amazing right i i eat last few mornings i i cook up some oats cut up we have fresh fruit right now seasonal fruit cut off fruit oats and fruit keeps me going all day like really good healthy food and local berries hops jelly hops jelly cheryl hops jelly no way really i can make jelly from hops like the same same way i make blackberry jam okay I gotta, I gotta get an answer for this if so hell yeah i'll harvest the hops and make jelly emily cat to catholic tradition yes my parents had bees and they they're great honey is yummy and the bees are so sweet oh yes fresh honey and bees are awesome really they're not wasps Wasps have their purpose. They eat a lot of pests and stuff like this in the, in your yard. Um, but bees are awesome. 
legendary Rob Moss. I'm currently learning how to make yogurt from raw milk. Yeah, well, I've made yogurt before. I will start my first batch this week. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, yog homemade yogurt is amazing. That's something our family has done for a long time. How much sugar do you need to cut the bitterness? Catholic tradition is asking Cheryl. So Cheryl's saying, oh, yes, yum. If you like hops, hops jelly, hops liqueur, hops mustard, all kinds of yummies. Okay, I got to look this up then. Okay, I think tomorrow morning maybe I harvest hops. I was going to go apple picking too, so we see. That's awesome. You can make cheeses. I love cheese. Cheese. Elder God, peach. I can eat a peach for hours. <laughs> Sorry, I hadn't used it in a while. <laughs> These streams are not for kids. Legendary Rob Boss to Emily. I haven't gotten that far yet, but uh, have 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 maybe the next step after get yogurt down. Once you get yogurt down, butter is easy to make too. I've never made butter, but family has made butter. I've seen them make butter. Uh, you don't get much, but it tastes really good. It tastes really good. Let us know how, to, how that goes, Emily says. I wish I knew how to make cheese. Yeah, me too. Legendary boss, I buy raw milk cheeses from an Amish farm. So I'm good for now. Awesome. Man, we don't have... Do we have any Amish farms here? No. We got the... We got farms, but they're not the Amish or the Mennonites and stuff. They have amazing breads, by the way. Uh, if you go to the Amish or Mennonite farms and stuff. So. Kathy Nechicho, a local vint vintner, serves uh, artisan brick oven pizza in his little restaurant. He has a pizza where he uses dried hops as a spice dried hops oh we could try them definitely unique and distinct flavor oh i didn't think about drying them drying them would be so easy legendary raw boss yes i'm actually enjoying one of their in corn sourdough breads it's amazing yeah oh good idea yeah yeah dry the hops oh hell yeah you know what i think i'm gonna dry the hops <laughs> I'll see if I can make the jam out of them, but uh, just dried hops. Just cut them and just hang them. I'll dry them exactly the same way I dry my mints. I've been drying a lot of mints. Well, some mints anyway. Uh, so that'll be cool. Gang, we're almost at two hours. We're almost at two hours. Should we call the stream? I hope you're still having good snacks. I got one more pineapple here. Whenever you have these, the fruit liqueurs, you got to go breathe out, breathe out. Have you tried using any of those? solar dehydrator a dehydrator yeah uh, not solar we have a dehydrator but we haven't brought it out to use it i just hang things to uh, dry them herbs anyway for fruits we haven't done the fruits yet we need more snacks <laughs> quick elder god a finance question <laughs> it laughs There's only one thing to do with hops, Chicho. Make beer. I'm not set up to make beer. I'm not really drinking beer. I used to drink beer. I went through phases where I used to drink beer and then don't drink beer. I started, like for me, I started my drinking career with vodka. I couldn't believe 
the first time I drank beer, I was like, oh, God, why do people drink this? And then slowly over time, I started really liking the taste of beer on a hot day and stuff like that. Super good. And it's a different buzz. Chicho, which currency is the most future safe? <laughs> and what God says. Chicho currencies. Chicho coins. Future stream idea. Making homemade mead. We need the honey for that. We need the raw honey from the top. I cannot do beer at all. It's so bad to me. Yeah, lonely piggy for me makes me all bloated. I I enjoy I enjoy life without beer. Fish fish burn. Thank you very much for the tier one sub. Gang, let's call the stream with that. Thank you for being here. Great discussion. Great discussion. Fun times great ideas uh thank you for sharing your thoughts your your recommendations your suggestions your ideas uh thank you for the conversations gang and uh what we'll do we got one more stream in the set and that's wednesday we're doing a comic book reading one of the best streams fantastic stream Kron, how are you doing great talk legendary Bob boss love talking with others that share a passion for making their own foods and learning yeah me too me too indeed gang if you want to follow this work i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to support this work if you have the means to support this work patreon is a fantastic way to do so i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike you can follow the work and after a while if you think it's worth supporting this work with funds patreon is a fantastic way to do so and for those of you who've been supporting this work through patreon thank you very much for the support i hope you have a good night i'm gonna crash sweet dreams emily sweet dreams thanks for the stream as always lonely biggest says chicho have a good night everyone good night everyone i hope you have fantastic dreams good night all legendary bob boss bob Ross. we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat as it's happening twitch is where you want to be at and again gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the discussions mods Thank you for being here and taking care of business. Cheryl, have a wonderful week, everyone. Indeed, indeed. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on LOVK Minds Gap Parlor and Twitter. If you want to follow this work, those platforms are also a good way to follow this project. We will be uploading the audio of this live stream to SoundCloud, soundcloud.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to listen to these discussions in audio format as podcast, SoundCloud is a great place to follow the work and the audio should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify. And we will be uploading this live stream discussion to BitChute as always and YouTube as well. Thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Sacho Bacho Fish Burn. Appreciate it, appreciate it. And welcome to our community of subscribers, right? And we will be uploading this video to YouTube as well because it's personal finance discussion, right? And if you want to follow this work, have a wonderful night. You too, Fish Burn. You too. And if you want to support this work on those platforms, you can like, share, comment subscribe and if you're on youtube you can join youtube membership <laughs> oh god youtube is evil he says gang thanks for being here and if you can make it comic book reading wednesday we got three comics to choose from let's see what we do good night everyone